Okay, what, I, what I'd like to do at this point is introduce you to how we manage our inventory Kanban system. Okay, what we have here is point of use inventory. If you'll notice, all our racks are unwheeled and totally mobile. If you follow me, each one of these racks represents a sub-assembly. And inside the sub-assembly is all the components necessary to build that sub-assembly. If you look down here, each one of these racks has a point where it belongs and a directory over here where we can find it. So when the operator, using point of use uh, system, would sit at the station and actually bring the cart to the work center and draw the material to do the necessary assembly. Okay. Now, this is how we manage the Kanbans themselves. We use a two-bin method, front bin, back bin. We use unequal quantity because in, in the effort to minimize inventory, we put the least amount of quantity in the back bin to make sure that we have enough quantity to keep the production line flowing at the same time, keep it going long enough until we get replenishment. So now the operator is going to remove the quantities from the front bin to make the build. Once it is empty, the operator is going to turn it around and put the bin back in. Now what we have here is a very visual reorder signal. This orange dot is now exposed and this product needs to be scanned. So the purchasing professional would take this Palm Pilot, which is the barcode scanner built into it, set it for inventory, and then walk around the entire plant and scan the product that needed to be procured. Now, once he's done scanning all the products and got it into the system, it's just a simple matter of taking this Palm Pilot, going back to our computer, and uploading this information into the resource manager, which I will demonstrate to you shortly.